Hello, wherever you are. I want to spend a few minutes talking to you about the Armed Forces Covenant. Last year, I wrote to every serving member of the Armed Forces to raise awareness of the Armed Forces Covenant within the military community. As we have very recently published the 2014 Annual Report on the Covenant, I thought I would take this opportunity to speak to you again. It's important to be very clear about what the Armed Forces Covenant is for. This is a commitment from the government to ensure that members of the Armed Forces community are recognised for what we do and that we are treated accordingly. The government is committed to ensuring that neither you nor your family face any disadvantage when it comes to the provision of public and commercial services. We also recognise that in certain circumstances it is right that we give special consideration to the most deserving of us, such as the injured and the bereaved. It does not mean that we will never be disadvantaged. It's about getting a fair deal for the armed forces in recognition of the huge commitment and sacrifices that we make for our country. You may think that in your current circumstances you have no need for the covenant. This may be true, but it's good to know that it is always there, ready to support us if we ever have to call on it. The MOD are the government departments, family federations and charities are all working closely together to deliver policies and programmes that support the covenant, for example in healthcare, housing and education. Society respects what we do and what we have done and it's doing more to support us. Every local authority in Great Britain has signed a community covenant. This means that wherever you live in Great Britain, your local council has pledged to do more to understand the unique challenges that come with military life and to provide that extra bit of help such as access to school places or social housing provision when it is needed. In the business world, well over 370 companies, including major names such as Tesco, BT, Barclays and Virgin Media, have signed a corporate covenant, pledging specific support when dealing with the armed forces. This will help with employment for your spouses and partners now, and for when you leave the services. These pledges have been signed because society wants to help. So I encourage you to let people know that you're a member of the armed forces community when you use public or commercial services. Though we cannot completely remove disadvantage, there are things we can do to reduce it. So please take a few moments of your time to take a look at the pocket-sized version of the annual report. This will give you more detail about what the Covenant has delivered, what we plan to do next, and where you can go for help. Thank you very much for listening.